Hi everyone, this is Thomas again. I'm going to talk about how we access the LiDAR and how does the point cloud data look like in Python. I've already opened a Python script that will read the LiDAR scan for a certain amount of time and plot it. First, I will just run it to give you guys a brief idea how the LiDAR spins, how the PZD looks like, and then I can explain the script in detail. In this terminal, I've already SSH to the car and there's a copy of the script inside the car ready. So I just go to the right folder uh, and then just launch the script with sudo as authority. Um, as you guys can see, the ladder is spinning and a point cloud data of my room is plotted. I think this is me. This is the phone that is recording the actual cue car behavior, and this is the screen. So if I, I move my body, um, the PCD is changing accordingly. Uh, and I think the script will stop running after 30 seconds. So now let's look at the script in detail. It is quite simple to read the LiDAR data. I will explain how we initialize our LiDAR and how to read it. At the beginning, um, we will import all the libraries we need, especially our Quenster library, which handles the most of the QCAR applications. In this case, we import LiDAR. Um, line 23 uh, is where we initialize the LiDAR. So let's go to the definition. So um, here we can specify how many measurements we need and what is the maximum distance. Line 162 is where we open the LiDAR and the read function is using interpolated mode um, which will produce as many points as user requests and then interpolating from the actual samples. So here um, we can let's say we can request 7200 measurements and then uh, since we will only measure about 500 samples per revolution based on whether it's using short, medium, or long mode, um, it will interpolate a lot of points in between the actual 500 samples. Okay, so let's go back to the LiDAR script. Um, line 40 is to read the LiDAR scan, and line 44, um, that my LiDAR angles has all the angles, and it's according my lidar dot distance are the numpy array that contains all the distance information and then we can just plot it using matplotlib um, and this is an explanation of how we initialize and read the lidar scan um, in the end i want to emphasize one cool feature about this um, lidar class um, is that we are directly talking to the hardware regardless the brand of the LiDAR. Or actually it's not just for the LiDAR class. We're not writing code for any specific brand of sensors that are currently on board. Uh, which means if you have other LiDAR that you want to use, you just unplug our LiDAR, plug in yours, and you can use exactly the same code to read your own LiDAR, which could save you a tremendous of time. 